What is going on YouTube? Long time no see, it's the Space Cadet here. It has been a rough, rough journey for me. Uh, I'm glad to finally be back. It's been years since my last video. I'm sure you guys seen the comments. Did a little time in prison. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and jump into, jump into all that right now. Um, so basically, my time away was due you know, because of incarceration. Uh, as I was making these videos before when I first started, all I was really messing with was weed and everything. And then it just kind of progressed from there. I started doing Coke and meth and just anything you could think of that could get you a head change. I was doing it, selling it, you know, all that. And uh, it fucked me up. Um, I wound up getting 10 years at 30% for, array of things you know one of them being meth one of them being guns just all kinds of things man i went to prison the first time over some stuff and i went to prison this time over meth i uh, what actually got me hemmed up was uh being awake for like 10 12 days and i worked you know long shifts long hour days i worked as many days as i could uh basically what had happened was was i had uh made a deal to yeah fix that so i had made a deal basically to uh i was supposed to be selling some selling some of that ice some of that meth uh, at work uh well, that's why i had it on me uh i had on me what i was gonna sell um basically i crap I, it was on my lunch break i had like five more minutes left to go back in the plant I had an hour lunch break all right, and the whole time I was getting high, smoking ice, whatever. And then I, I had some fire weed. I had some fire weed, and it was good weed. Uh, last thing I remember, I, I'll have you back on the floor at 12. The last thing that I remember was it being 11.55, and I t hit this weed. Okay, had you back in in five minutes. Everything I had on me was going to be sold. It was That was it. 11.55, I hit this weed, and then all of a sudden I come to, and it's like, and I look at and, and the the police is knocking on my windows on both sides. I'll turn around, there's like an ambulance behind me. They're trying to get the car open. They're asking me where the heroin's at, all this stuff. I'm like, what? I'm thinking I'm getting like raided by like drug task force or something because it's happened several times. Been raided several times, you know, never got caught with anything. But I was just wondering what the hell was going on. Uh, they asked me where the heroin was at and everything. And uh, I'm, I asked them, well, what's going on? Uh, you know, they're like, medical is coming the ambulance came they're like putting narcan and shit up my nose and i'm like what is i'm like i'm confused you know what i mean and uh the arresting officer happened to be a buddy of mine that not necessarily a buddy just an acquaintance that uh i knew like a, fr a friend of family basically that you know we'd been like new year's eve stuff like that together i've seen him around known him since i was a kid and uh basically you know, he's asking me where the drugs are at, where's the heroin. I'm like, what are you talking about? Somebody had called 911, all right, and said that then reported that someone was overdosed in a truck uh, at, at you know at, at the job site at my plant. And uh, you know, he's asking me where the drugs are at. I'm like, I don't have any drugs. You know, I had drugs on me, obviously, had meth on me, uh, so I wound up getting caught with that. You know, I had I had that weed on me had some pipes, various other things, scales, you know, stuff like that. You know, they wound up giving me a bond. I was already on probation at the time. Wound up getting a bond. I bonded out, all right? And then my PO, I call my PO and I'm like, look, I'm trying to go to rehab. Please don't violate me. I'm not trying to go back to prison, all this other stuff. She's like, no, you're fine, you're fine. She's like, what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna call the judge. We're gonna set up a Zoom conference. So you need to come into the office on Monday morning and uh, come in the office Monday morning and, and, and from there, we're gonna figure out what's gonna go on. If he, if he allows rehab, then that's cool, everything's fine. If not, you're not gonna get arrested that day. What's gonna happen is, is we're gonna put a warrant out for your arrest and you can either uh, turn yourself in or we can come pick you up. But regardless, she's like, please show up. Regardless, you're not gonna go to jail that day. So I took her at her word, all right? Took her at her word. Long story short, I get to the office and I'm sitting there, I fill out the paperwork, and then I see a squad car, like a, a, a city, you know, city cop car pulled beside my truck. And the, the place is packed, everybody's sitting there. I'm like, oh my God, this is a setup. I'm like, it's a setup. 
They walk, and, then, and as soon as one walks in, another car pulls up, another police car pulls up right on the other side of my truck. And I'm like, oh my God, it's a setup. I'm thinking, I, I'm about to just make a run for it. I'm like, man, I can't go back. You know, I, I, I was like this close to running for it. You know, they, they walked straight to the back to the office. I'm like, okay, well maybe they're here for some paperwork. You know, this place is packed. Maybe they're here for someone else. You know, I'm high as, as a mug. You know what I mean? I'm over here paranoid and all this other stuff. And uh, yeah, then they said Barrett, opened the door, said Barrett. And I'm like, mm, and I come back and she's like, yep, the judge said no. I turn around, you're gonna go to jail. And I'm like, I mean, this bitch tricked me. Like, real talk, she straight tricked me. So if, if any of you guys are going through, or have went to something like that, or you're like violating and your PO says to come in, don't fall for that shit. That, 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 that's, that's not it, you know what I mean? That's not it. Yeah, so yeah, she tricked me. And from there, dude, I've, I've been in prison this entire freaking time, literally. See, and the worst part about it was that I wasn't even overdosed. I was, I literally was just sleeping in my truck. Like I just crashed out from where I'd been awake so long. Like I was not overdosed. I had no heroin, nothing like that. I genuinely was just sleeping. Like I just smoked this weed and just kind of crashed out, you know, from being up so long. I wasn't even overdosed. And some random bystander just decides to be a hero and call 911. So yeah, man, that, that, that's, that's, that, that, that's what, that, that, you know, that's what happened. You know, it's, it's been awful. I've been out for like nine days now or something like that. So, you know, I'm just trying to do the right thing through hell or high water. If it's 40 mile an hour speed limit, damn it, I'm doing 40. If I go fishing, I'm going to bring a ruler with me. I ain't bringing no undersized fish. Motherfucker, I ain't smoking shit. That's, I ain't drinking energy drinks. I ain't taking freaking NyQuil. I ain't even eating no damn poppy seeds, man. I'm under so many restrictions, it's crazy. This drug court thing I've got to do, it's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's a good program, okay? But being on all three of these mandations at the same time, that's ridiculous. I've got to be at, at, at the parole, at the, at the, what's it called? The drug court office on, if I can even remember, let's see, I think it's Monday, it's either Monday or Tuesday, and then I got to be at the courthouse every Thursday and Friday, so Monday, Thursday, to the, to the, I think it's, it's either Monday, Thursday, Friday, or it's Tuesday, 30, Thursday, Friday, from four hour links. And any given day, I have to call this number every single day, 365 days a year. It don't matter if it's Christmas, it don't matter. I'm, I gotta take two to three drug tests a week and it goes to, I gotta go to the lab to take it, like real shit. These guys make me pull my pants down to my, these guys make me pull my pants down to my ankles, all right? To my ankles, lift my shirt up past my belly button, all right? And there's a mirror in front of me on the left side and on the left side. Make me start pissing. And then once I start pissing, they come around and give me the cup. And then he stands in front of me and like bird dogs my pecker the whole time. Like they didn't even do nothing like that when I was locked up, like in the penitentiary, like they don't even drug test you like that. You know what I mean? So between that, man, I got this little menial job. I'm like restricted to like restaurant jobs at this point because I got so much shit that I've got to do throughout the week as far as like legal obligations. I can really only work on like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I'm running like full on open to close, you know what I mean? And that's all I, you know, that's all I can do right now. You know, I'm on this drug court 18 months, you know, and it's gonna be hell, but through hell or high water, I'm coming out on the other side, you know, I'm on parole till 2029. That's when I actually expire this 10 year sentence. 2029, uh, I'm mandated in a halfway house for six months. So I'll be here six months. I'm out back in this garage right now, making it's probably going to be new, my new vi my video setup place. Unless I'm blogging and stuff, you'll see, you'll see basically my life. I think I'm going to do like a day in the life. I probably even might do it in this video, just kind of show you how hectic my days have been. It's been crazy, but I'm back. I'm coming with new content probably every week, if not every week, every two weeks, you know what I mean? I'm going to, you know, do what I can to, uh, you know, stay on the right path. And, uh, hopefully I got you guys support along the way. Hope you guys keep watching. So, uh, continue to enjoy the rest of this video. So 
So yeah, as you guys just seen, I'm on my way to take a piss test right now. Uh, they called me in to take one today, so I guess I've got to go do that. Uh, so yeah, the space mobile, by the way, is no more. Uh, I wound up, had a couple, few cars actually, and uh, times were getting rough and I had to sell it so I could make rent. And it actually worked out all right because, well, for, uh, not for the guy I sold it to, because about like two months after I sold it, apparently the, the time and chain jumped time or something like that. And it, it, it broke down on him. And I don't even know where the car is at. The dude actually passed away in a construction, not construction, but he was working, doing uh, odd, odd jobs, handyman jobs and shit like that. And he was on meth and Apparently was high when he was working and somehow I don't know the full story because he died while I was in prison this time but wound up getting beheaded like something happened I don't know but he got his whole head chopped off and apparently he accidentally did it to himself so uh, yeah that's what that meth does to you uh, so yeah I got a truck it's a 93 Chevy K1500 but it's currently uh, also broke down I don't exactly know the full extent what's wrong with it uh, it was working perfectly fine whenever I got locked up, but uh, since my wife was driving it, being locked up, it wound up, something happened to it, so I got to figure out exactly what that is. Uh, shouldn't cost no more than like $500 or $1,000, I'd say, to probably fix it. So, as of right now, I'm taking the bus, having to do this bus routes and stuff, which is sucking, because it takes like two hours just to get like 20 minutes down the road having to take like two buses to get one place to another. It's ridiculous, man. My life is a living hell right now, but it's better than where I was two weeks ago. You know what I mean? So I'm doing whatever I got to do to stay out, you know, whatever I got to do. So yeah. This bus crap is totally for the birds. I cannot wait to get my truck fixed. Well, I just got done with my goober being gazed at, so uh, now I'm waiting on my homie to come pick me up. Probably gonna go hit an AA meeting or something. I guess while I'm sitting here, I'll go ahead and show you the, uh, the new work I got done. Uh, since you guys have seen me last. Got a space theme going on over here. Yeah, got some that going on. Got a rocket ship and everything. Some meteors. Trying to get the whole space theme done. Then over here I got timepiece. It's getting started supposed to be like a unit and stuff back there and a guard tower but my celly wound up getting stabbed in the middle of it and I got hit with a lock I'll probably make a video about that whole story uh, later on but uh yeah
open on all of the presents when we play. Yeah. Good job. 
<laughs> All right, you want to just, oh, let me get the ice cream out. Uh, one second. Yeah, hold it. Hold it. Good, good. Is it working? Yes. Yeah. He's just trying to come. <laughs> <laughs> it, takes, it, takes, it takes a bit of skill, but. Nice. Good job. Good job. Backing up. Backing up. Making fire. Let me try it. Let me see it. Oh. <laughs> What's up guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little clip of my son's birthday party and everything. I'm trying to do as much video as I can. I got a busy day. I'm about to go to drug court right now and do what I got to do. After that, I got to take a drug test. Then I probably have to do the work, go to work after that. So, you know, it's just typical life for me right now. But uh, I'm going to try and get this video up tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more.